This week, my life is about to become consumed by college exams. I need to start mentally preparing for what's about to be a chaotic week in my life. And I wanted to start doing that tonight, but I'm starting to think that that's probably not a smart idea. I think instead it would be best for me to get a full eight hours of sleep. It's currently 10.15. I definitely stayed up longer than I should have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a bunch of alarms to ensure that I get up early and get everything done. I just want to feel prepared, get to campus early. That way I can get some extra studying in. Before I head to bed, I also need to make a to-do list of everything I need to do tomorrow. Just brain dump everything that's going on in my head onto a piece of paper so that I just get everything off my mind and make sure I don't forget anything tomorrow. school bag and I thought I would show you guys my finals week study essentials. My number one essential of course has to be my noise cancelling headphones. These are my airpod maxes which as you guys know are my absolute faves. Then I also have my airpod pros and these help so much with keeping myself focused. Sadly I lost one of them so I haven't been using these as much. My lululemon water bottle. These are my faves for when my lips are dry. Then of course my notebook and ipad for taking notes. I always keep snacks in my bag. And lastly, but most importantly, a cute comfy outfit. I literally have slides on. The one thing I prioritize during final season is a comfy outfit. I refuse to wear anything that's uncomfortable. I will give you guys the outfit details in a bit. I came to campus an hour early to start studying for my finals because I have two big ones today. The first one is for econ, so I'm gonna be going to the library right now to study for that. I just came to the bathroom really quickly to update you guys. Also, give you a quick little foot check. It's literally raining outside. I wore this like this sleeve thing for extra warmth. I have my cargo pants that I'm literally always wearing from Urban Outfitters and my tote bag because I didn't feel like carrying my backpack today. Let's go have a study session. As soon as I finished studying at the library, I headed to my first class of the day, which honestly I should have just skipped because I wasn't even paying attention. I just continued studying for my exam in the class. And in between, I decided to get some food on campus. Then at 1.30, it was time to take my first exam. Thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Grammarly is a go-to writing tool that will help anyone improve their grades and feel more confident in every assignment that they turn in. Now that final season is upon us, I've begun to feel a lot more stressed and overwhelmed. And as assignments start to pick up, it's important to set yourself up for success to achieve good grades with tools such as Grammarly. And it's crazy, I've literally used Grammarly ever since I was in middle school. It's always been my must-have desk desktop app. So they do offer the free version, which is the one that I've used for the longest time. The free version just corrects your grammar, spelling, and punctuation mistakes, but upgrading it to the Grammarly Premium will help you feel more confident in any assignment that you turn in with their advanced features. And a few of these advanced features include Grammarly helping you effectively communicate your ideas by rewriting hard-to-read sentences so your writing is more clear. Grammarly also helps you replace your overused words with more exciting and effective ones to ensure you're not sounding repetitive in your assignment. Assignments. Grammarly is free to download and super easy to integrate into your everyday life. It works where you work, such as in Google Docs or emails. Succeed in school by improving your grades with the help of Grammarly. And remember, it is free, so you can go here to this link, sign up for a free account, and if you'd like to get extra features, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. I don't know 
why I like this angle. It makes me feel powerful. Anyways, I just took a shower. My hair is slightly wet. Besides studying today, I do have a million other things to do with very little free time. And since I did already spend this entire morning on campus studying, finishing my exam, which by the way was super easy, that final was the one that I was least worried about. But now that it's out of the way, I'm officially on track with my study schedule. Honestly, I'm pretty scared for my exam tomorrow because it's a lot more difficult since I didn't do so good on my midterm for that class. I should probably prepare and spend the rest of today studying. But realistically, if I did that, I would go insane. We need to create a balance. I should go get other things done. I actually have to go to Ikea, so let's go do that. I'm in my kitchen and we're gonna make coffee. So I was supposed to go to the gym But then when I got to the gym, I was like, I don't have the energy for this So I drove myself back home and I thought instead I would just have a relaxing night Maybe make some coffee wake myself up a little bit get some work done and just like do things that my future self would thank me for And honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself because today I actually took breaks I didn't force myself to just stay home all day. I actually went out and did Things. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but I tend to overwork myself a lot Like if you guys watched my study vlogs from last year, I would literally have mental breakdowns <laughs> It wasn't cute and I just didn't want to do that to myself this year tonight I'm just gonna be finishing up work that doesn't require as much effort Definitely gonna be catching up on some reading and then going to bed at a reasonable time Honestly, I would say that right now I have zero motivation But I can't be relying on motivation to get me to do stuff because I rarely ever feel motivated Hopefully this coffee helps me out because I seriously just want to go to bed and it's only like 7 p.m. It's bad So I finally went to sleep around 11 p.m. this night and then I woke up at 5 in the morning So now here's a second study day in my life quickly just make myself a little snack since I haven't ate breakfast. I decided I'm going to be finishing studying at a library just because I'm beginning to feel very easily distracted here at home and I really just need to recharge my social battery after literally isolating myself for the last couple days. I feel like I tend to do that a lot when I get in the zone, whether it's with studying, editing, or any type of computer work. So I'm actually going to be going with a group of friends and we're just going to be working on this project together. But this is my outfit for today. I'm kind of stuck in between either this outfit with just a regular black top and little shorts or or this outfit with like a tank and a long sleeve. I feel like I'm gonna go for this one just because I feel cuter. Also just wearing this with some Uggs, super cute. study session at the library. It went great. Probably wasn't the most convenient that I decided to study with people because that definitely slowed me down. But now that it's over, I actually have an eyelash appointment right now. I guess I booked an appointment for today a few weeks ago, not considering that it was finals week. So that kind of sucks. Also, I'm late for this appointment. Can you guys tell that I'm a mess? I just left my eyelash appointment and this is what they turned out like. Now, I have to go really quickly to print out some papers for a few of my assignments. Before I head back home, I completely forgot I had to turn those in. So let's go get that done. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just 
took a nap as soon as I got home. I wasn't supposed to do that. I went on my phone, fell asleep for like an hour and a half, but I don't fully regret it because I'm a lot more awake now. As you can see, it's getting later now. I do have other things I need to do. I have a presentation that I need to finish that I'm going to be giving tomorrow. I'm actually going to be working on that with a group. So we're going to be like on a video call. We'll figure out what else I'm going to be doing. I just know that that's going to be taking up most of my night. At some point, I wanted to do like a little at home workout just because I literally have been neglecting the gym for the last couple days because I haven't been able to make time for it. Guys, I feel like I've cleaned my desk like 5 million times in this past week and it just can't stay clean. As I'm working on everything, I'm like also trying to work on the thumbnail for this video. I ended up spending the rest of my night just putting together my presentation, working on this YouTube video, and then I ended my night with an at-home workout. Definitely let me know how your finals week went. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you already finished your finals or are in the middle of your finals, don't forget that self-care is super important. I'm definitely going to be having an intense self-care day after this, which I'll definitely vlog. So stay tuned, subscribe, and love you.